Reckon and I just arrived at Magpie Vintage Market Days in Marion, Illinois. This is our second year in a row to be here. And oh my gosh, you should see this place. It is a beautiful day, 77 degrees. The sun is out. It opened at 10. We got here at 11 because the, the line to get in is usually nuts. And we are so excited. So let's go see what we're gonna find today. So Brecken and I have been here, what, an hour and 10 minutes. We have already bought several things. Brecken got a really cool, like a old piece of driftwood bowl to put on her kitchen table. I'm trying to stay in the shade because it is a hot one today. But we came across this place that was framing, it's like artwork, I guess, but the guy made custom frames out of pieces of old wood and they're painted and they're crusty and they're yucky and which sounds horrible, but that's what I love. And I found, uh, actually we both found one. I bought one that has pumpkins. Brecken bought one that's more Halloween. There's a ghost with a black cat. And we bought several prints from them that we're gonna, our Brecken is for her apartment, gonna frame herself. So luckily we left our little red wagon in the car. We wanted to get started and then we'll go back and get it. But they're holding the frames for us and we're gonna pick them up on our way out. But we are hot. There are so many people here. There is so much to see. We just got started, so more to come. There's so many booths here with adorable clothes and I tried on one little outfit, but to be honest, it is so hot. I just cannot make myself try on a sweatshirt. Um, and last year when we were here, Brecken bought several cute little outfits and sweaters and tops. We haven't been that lucky with the clothes this year. A lot of it is just printed sweatshirts and like flannels and things and um, cute, but I'm just not up to it today. But we are getting ready to go get cinnamon rolls and sticky buns. We had it last year so good and we've already seen the guy's booth. We told him we were coming back. We had a couple more things we wanted to see. Brecken wanted to pick up some flowers and some little pumpkins and then I think we're gonna take a break in the sun. We've got us some water and have a pecan sticky bun. Oh, those are cute. Wide leg, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so hot, yeah. Could you just slip it over your shorts just to see? You know you're gonna have to hold it up and show it to me. <laughs> you guys look at that so too. Yeah. So sure enough, as fast as I said it was too hot, 
freaking found a like a velour tracksuit type thing. She had to try it on, but it fits her like a glove. And the lady in the booth just said, we're the third person in the row to buy one because it is so cute. And they had it in several different colors. So B got herself a little outfit. Are we doing pecan sticky bun or cinnamon bun? So we're taking a break. We, Brecken and I split a sticky, a mouthful, a sticky cinnamon bun with pecans on it. And Randy insisted that we bring him home a cinnamon bun. So Brecken's got it in her bag. We're trying not to get it on her clothes. But we're cooling down. I think we've just about seen everything. We have a couple things we have to pick up on the way out, and then I think we're gonna head her to the car. So if you come to Magpie Vintage Market Days, it is a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday event. You pay $10 to get on in on Friday, and you get this little armband, and then you can come back all weekend, anytime you want. I don't know what it is if you come on Saturday or Sunday, but I think the fee is smaller but it's definitely worth it. And they're- Friday and Saturday is the same. Sunday oh. is five. Friday and Saturday is $10, Sunday is five. And it opens at 10 o'clock, I think every day. And they're here, you know, the booths are open until five. But it has been a beautiful day here. Windy, as you can see. And now Brecken and I are gonna head back in and take a couple pictures, pick up a couple things and head her home. So we have our arms full. We did good. And I was joking with Brecken while we were eating our cinnamon bun that somehow I always ask her to go places with me, but yet she gets all the stuff. I bought one thing and everything else is the B girl. So we had a good time. <laughs> it's so worth it. This is such a great market. And they do a spring and a Christmas market too, but they're indoors and they're always just really packed with people. So this fall market outside is my favorite one. So when we get home, we'll do a little show for you, a little haul, and show you what all we bought. See you at home. So we're home from the market, and we're gonna show you really quick what we got. So, first off, B. Sorry, we got the phone propped up on the kitchen counter. Uh, what you got? Well, I'll show you, actually, where is what I bought? So I bought this framed print for fall with the white pumpkins. It's like made out of old pieces of window that are painted and all crusty. And I think I'm gonna put this in the foyer and Brecken got, da 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 da. This ghost oh, and a cat, cat one. Cat and a ghost. Know, there's like a glare on it, but it's a little black cat and a ghost. So cute. I'm gonna go put this in the foyer right now. This is all I bought y'all, the whole trip. This is all I got. But these were really, really cute. Uh, they had so many different versions of these. They had orange pumpkins, all kinds of cute ghosts. But we loved that everything was framed in this brown, just wood, crusty, dirty frame, which is perfect for both of our houses. Okay, so for my dining room table, I got this little tray. What do you call this? They have a name. A, a little uh, boat. Yeah, like a little baskety boat thing made of old wood, driftwood. And I'm going to fill it with these little pumpkins. Cute. And then I'm also gonna put this little like greenery thing in here and then surround it with yeah. these pumpkins. So she's gonna put it on her kitchen table in her apartment for fall. And then you can yeah. always switch out what's in it for Christmas or for the you know spring or different things. Super cute, let me see. Yep. Yeah. Cute, like almost, well, I don't say almost, lots of booths at the market had these types of bowls and they were all in different colors and shapes and sizes, but this one fit her kitchen table the best. So it's really cute. Next. Uh-oh. <laughs> it does a little. Well, we didn't think to set it down, did we? No, we did not. Um, you know what? You could put those little rubber stoppers on the bottom. I have some. We'll do that. We'll level it. Uh oh. -uh. And then Brecken got these two prints, and she's going to order some frames or get some frames at Hobby Lobby and put these one in her kitchen and the other one, what bedroom? The poppy. So she got the California poppy and citrus. citrus. 
I love botanicals. These are right up my alley, but I didn't really have a place for them, but they'll be really cute in her apartment. Okay, here's the and big find. Lastly, I think this is last, right? Okay. Lastly, I got this adorable little set. It's down here low. So this is the top, just like a brown little sweater material. It's like a velour-y, super soft. And then it comes with the matching bottoms. Yeah, love it. Where's dad's cinnamon roll? We'll be like, yeah, you get the vibe. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. And then we bought Randy home a cinnamon roll. It's and it's, down. oh, it's, up. I thought that was upside down. Whoops. Cinnamon roll. <laughs> so this is all for him. <laughs> but anyway, we had a big time at the market. We will be there again next year. I ran into two ladies that stopped me and said they watched my YouTube channel. And one gal was waiting for me at the entrance. She sat there waiting to see me come in. So greeted me first thing and then I ran into another gal later on in the day that lived in Marion, Illinois. So again, this is a great market. If you are any near with any if you live anywhere near within driving distance, highly, highly recommend the fall Magpie Market Days Vintage Market. So we'll see you again there next year probably.